Welcome back to SoFlow TV again everybody, it is your host with the most. Check this small video clip out. This video clip is a young lady in her last moments. As the headline says, she was killed by drug traffickers. Now, I want you to see the clip, but I'm not going to show you the part where the she's actually executed. And I can't show you that here. It's posted in my chat room on Instagram, but I cannot show you, uh, not Instagram, it's posted in my chat room on WhatsApp, but I cannot show you it here. I cannot show you it here because YouTube has guidelines and they will actually shut my channel down, take my channel off. If I actually play a video of someone being executed live, okay? So watch this video clip. This is moments leading up and then we're gonna uh, talk about what happened and this whole IG model thing and all that. So, here we go. All right, so check it. The story says, behind all this, the story behind this says, a gorgeous Instagram model is now dead after she got tied up with a dangerous group of drug traffickers. This is what MTO News put out. And the brutal murder of this young, young woman is going viral on social media. I got the video, a lot of other people got the video. Um, I just can't play it for you here. Now, this Brazilian IG model who had more than 10,000 followers, allegedly was hired by drug mules to transport drugs. So she willingly went to them. But we're gonna talk about that. According to local reports obtained by MTO News, she was supposed to deliver the drugs from point A to point B. Those were her specific instructions using the specific driver that the dealers had provided for her to work with. Well, she took it upon herself to do things a little bit differently. Local report says that the IG model decided that that driver that the dealers gave her, he was taking too long to get there. So she decided to take a taxi. Well, that taxi driver knew what time it was, knew she was carrying product and robbed her. She lost the people's drugs. She lost their product. You already know how that goes. The drug game can be wicked. The drug dealers were so upset that they decided to kill her on her IG page. The dealers forced her to go live and then killed the beautiful model in front of thousands of her fans. Now, as she... she Got her phone, right? And they told her to go live. And she went live. And you know sometimes you go live and not everybody tunes in because people are busy. But they kept her on there for a little minute. So while she is in distress explaining, all her fans started coming in. He waved the gun around a little bit. All her fans started coming in. Is this real? What is this? Art? Is she acting? And before you know it, they waited. This is cold, man. They waited until she had enough people on, an audience, and then they executed her right there. I saw the whole video. It's sad as hell. But let this be a lesson. Because we live in an age now where it seems like almost every other female wants to be an IG model. 
and there is fame in it and fortune in it for some people, but that's probably about a 1%. The rest of them will end up in situations where not so favorable. You understand? And then let's talk about the drug game a little bit. We're in a time where young people, they don't want to really work hard or study too long. College, ah, that's four years. Not every young person, of course, because every year we graduate thousands and thousands of people from college. So obviously they're doing it. But this is for the ones who choose to do something different, like get involved with drug mules or drug traffickers and become a drug mule. It's very tempting, especially when you see other people do it and they're like 20 years old, you know, 19 years old. They've got their own apartment or a condo. They have a nice car. They don't have bills that they're worried about. And you're like, man, I want to live that life. They're on social media every day showing it off, stacks of cash. You're like, I want to live that life. And when you're young, sometimes you're just young and dumb, right? Your decision-making skills are not too up to par. So a lot of young people go off into things like these and they might make a trip and from that trip, it's a nice check and they're like, whoa, I'm gonna do this again. And then they start messing up and start taking these specific instructions and doing it their other way. Right now, the drug dealers are probably looking at her like she took that other vehicle, not the one we gave her, because she wanted to run off with the product. She planned this. She trying to play us for stupid. Okay, let's make an example out of her. That is what that's about. And that is how the drug game goes. Sadly, as much as there are a lot of females who do go into this, I don't know why, seeing what the outcome could be, but quick cash will get a lot of people acting on the wrong side of the law. But sadly, Let's talk about human trafficking. There are a lot of females, especially from third world countries, that are forced into this. And their families or their businesses are held hostage. You're gonna take this drugs, we're gonna buy your ticket, you're gonna get on that plane, we're gonna make sure all your immigration stuff is okay, you're gonna go through, you're gonna bring these couple of kilos, we're gonna strap it to your body, we're gonna put it in your bag. We're going to put it under your wig. We're going to package it however we package it. You're going to deliver our product, and that's what we need you to do. In the meantime, you better not lose our itch. Your family will pay, or you will have to come back and pay. And they don't have a choice. They're literally forced into this. A lot of females are kidnapped and forced to do these kind of things. So... In the news where it says that she volunteered, like she went to the drug dealers. This is something that she does. She probably made moves before and got real comfortable and thought, ah, uh, you know, I'm, I'm on IG. Uh, people are probably wondering where I'm getting my money from. She knows where she's getting her money from. It's from illegal drug activities, right? But people are thinking that the average unassuming teenage girl watching and idolizing her they're thinking, I want to be an IG model too. Look, she doesn't work too hard. She wakes up every day. She goes to the beach. She goes shopping. She takes pictures all day. Her life looks glamorous. Not all that glitters is gold. I'm going to leave this one right here. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about this one. Do you know of any stories, real life stories of similar situations? You can share them in the comment section below. And I'll catch you on the next video. It's SoFlo TV. Hit that subscribe button. I'm out. Peace. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I think about my dog swinging to graduate. Only thing they graduated was the heaven gates. Couple days before my beat date, brother passed away. And we weren't even on good terms. I ain't felt Saturdays. Mm -hmm. Don't live my brothers. Sometimes I think about my dog swing to graduate. Only thing they graduated was the heaven gates. Couple days before my big day, brother passed away. And we weren't even on good terms. I ain't felt Saturdays. So 
know I can't let this pass me by. I gotta cast away. And they gon' act like they relate. Don't know how action takes. Honestly, it ain't too many real ones after me. Lot on my mind. I hope my sister got a cancer beat. So they say, keep your head up. It's gon' get better. The stormy weather don't last forever. Keep your head up. I went on fed up. It's stormy weather don't seem like it's ending. So fuck it. Ain't gonna call on catching buckets. In the field with that steel. If he got smoke, no, we ain't dug it. Told her I ain't gangsta, I'm just sliding, say I'm thugging Cause the way them people raise me, dog, I just can't go for nothing And my dog sitting in heaven, wish I could call to say I love it, But if heaven... I'm at the highway, no am at the highway I'm at the highway, no am at the highway It all started in an empty highway Ask if I'm gon' ride, I say away oh, In that highway I'm in that highway right now Gotta get this shit the hallway Empty hallways Posted by the light on them dark days Ask me how long I'm gonna ride, I say always Alright everybody, so this video is called Hallways And this artist is being dad managed Yes, that's my son And I'm also his manager Until we find a manager that's worthy for him You can find him on YouTube just type in T viral or click the link in the description or the link that's pinned in the comment section. Go over to his YouTube channel. We have 20 projects on the way that will all be green screen videos of different songs. So stay tuned. We're them when we pop down, them when we fall off, for them get a laugh. Still, we know I put with things in our life, even do what we better off. It's all is all for. Them one we pop down, them one we fall off, for them get a laugh. Ha <laughs> ha! That's a good one. Yo, Sully. Sully Solfa is the name of this artist, people. And this is one of my favorite artists. If you've been on SoFlo TV for a while, you know that I've done promotions for Sully Solfa music before. It's just an artist that I found and decided to say, yo, the artist good, the music good. Right now, this song and this video, though, is what's up. I've been playing this one all morning because I can so relate to the words. Then while we pop down, then while we fall off, for them get a laugh, right? And the rest of the song is just bad. Just go listen to the song, the rhythm, the melodies, everything is all that. This song is called Get a Laugh, all right? So click the link in the description that I pinned and also go over to Sully Sulfur or just type it in YouTube search engine, Sully Sulfur. When you get there, subscribe, tell them SoFlo TV sent you, and them have a whole heap of other bad, bad songs over there as well. I just put it on to a new artist. Thank me later. Sully Sulfur, get a laugh. That away there right now. Still, we know I put with things in a life, do what we better 